we're going to install a rear receiver for this Polaris Razor. It is a Razor 570 and it is a 2015 model. I purchased this American made rear receiver made by Capers Fabricating that looks really well made and well painted. It mounts using four bolts and the positions are already here on the razor and it comes with the hardware we need. So let's get started. First thing we'll do to make it easier for us, we'll jack this up and then put jack stands on it for safety. Let's go ahead and do that. So we have the razor blocked in the front, raised up with the jack, the jack stands in place. But I still have the hydraulic lift to help this out so it's a three point instead of just a two point uh, suspension for safety. Please remember, never rely on your hydraulics. They can fail at any time and when they do, it's typically a catastrophic event. Damaging equipment, vehicles, or you could injure or possibly kill yourself. Please, hydraulics can fail, they absolutely can, on your tractor, on your excavator, whatever you have, don't go underneath them, don't trust them, use jack stands, you'll be so much safer and you'll just feel much better about it. In this installation, this is a Ranger 570 Trail LE, and it has electronic power steering. Because of that, this has the power steering regulator that we need to remove. It is a 10 millimeter nut with a 10 millimeter bolt. So I have a box end wrench on this side and we'll take that out. This will be repositioned at the completion of the pitch install. this question. The razor already has a small hitch. Why don't you just add a reducer to that? That would extend that out to about here. And then the install for the winch, which goes on a two-inch receiver, is going to be further out as well, putting so much torque on this relatively thin, somewhat weak connection. I wanted a strong, full-size, two-inch mount. Thank you. 
One thing I find helpful in tricky situations like this is using the, this nice magnetic rod, and I've got the bolt connected to it. I hope I don't get in the way. that bolt right into place and that's really helpful. And this magnetic tool is also super helpful when you drop a nut, which I did also. So now we'll tighten these up. These are 13 millimeters. Again, nylon nuts, so they're going to resist resistant, resist vibration, and they'll stay nice and tight. Okay, so the four bolts are on. Because this has electronic power steering, we used a smaller bolt for this. It is a quarter inch bolt, probably a quarter by 20 with a, with a nylon nut. Standard, without the electronic power steering, you use an additional one of these 5 16 by 18 bolts. Again, they can use a metric wrench to tighten these 11 millimeter nut, 10 millimeter bolt head. So here it is. Well, let's try it out. Okay, we'll try it out. This is a Badlands 2,500 pound winch and an extreme max winch carrier. This winch carrier has a 2x2 two two inch mount for this receiver. Ah, there it goes. So that will bolt in like this and our remote control will power this winch get us out of trouble with the razor if there's ever a problem. And, just to keep things tidy, we can keep it in the back until we need it. Now that our job's completed, we can safely remove the jack stands. like about these jack stands is that they have a lock, which I can show here. When we raise it to the desired position, this pin engages, and it's going to prevent this one from dropping down. It's a safety feature. These are the Pro Series Big Red Jacks. They're actually very nice. Hope you enjoyed that.